welcome and or welcome back my name is cassandra if you're new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video if you're returning for thank you for coming back for another motivational video make sure you turn your post notification as i am bad at keeping a schedule today's video will be jam-packed with tons of cleaning motivation as I clean and decorate for Christmas. You can clean with me now or watch now to get the motivation you need for later. As I previously stated, today's video is going to be me decorating for Christmas. And the first thing I need to do is kind of organize and get this sort of area under control as where my tree will be going. I need a little bit more space, so I need to move the table. So what I'm going to start off by doing is removing all those toys that the kids have, all their toys. I'm going to declutter and organize their toys as per usual because they'll be getting so many new toys for Christmas. I need to get rid of whatever I don't see them playing with. Anything that they've outgrown, if it's broken or if it doesn't work anymore. Just if they lose interest in a toy, it's time for it to go. I do remember last year a few people was offended that I decluttered my kids toys and I tossed some of them in the garbage or I donated whatever was decent enough but don't worry whatever that is going in that gray bin is what's going into storage until we move because we're moving at the end of the month so I'm just going to go ahead and put those away and put them in storage and once they're in their own rooms then I can bring everything back out with more space. So right now I'm just taking out what I know that they do play with and then I'm going to have a pile for what's going to stay here which is mostly like the cars, the building blocks, stuff like that. All major toy, bigger toys and toys that they play with here and there I'm going to put back in the bin and put that in storage. But for the most part all small cars any little knickknacks or their favorite things, I will keep those in a bin here as you can see later on.
of separating the toys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back over where the toys is and I'm gonna sweep all of that area out after I get whatever stuff is left there I'm gonna go ahead and sweep it out and then I'm going to move the table closer to the wall because where my Christmas tree is gonna go is gonna be on the opposite end as you can see so I need this table to be down more and as you're gonna see I am NOT going to do too much decorating because I don't know if it's just me or if everyone is feeling this little funk as all uh, as I am because for some reason I just don't understand I'm not in the Christmas spirit I figured putting up the tree would get me more in the spirit after putting it up I started to somewhat feel more Christmas spirit ish but not really so um I think it's because I just have a lot on my plate. Let me know if you're in a Christmas funk also because I find there's a lot of people that's feeling this way. Like, I don't know if it's just because of the pandemic or what's going on, but I don't know. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead, clean out the table, and um, get all their stuff cleared up because as you can see earlier they were eating so I need to clean that off before I can go ahead and move forward and sweep the whole area. of today's video my Christmas tree so like I said this is why I needed more space because I need to push the tree into this corner and what I'm going to do is that the branches that are in the back I kind of lift them up so they could flush more against the wall and it will give the tree like a fuller look also because those branches are pushed more towards the front so I'm going to start off by just fluffing the the branches. This part, I did speed it up a lot so and cut out unnecessary parts. So don't be alarmed if you just see it jump to the tree being fluffed. So I'm just going to go ahead and fluff that out, get it to my liking, like play with it until it's where I want it to be. The main problem I have with this tree is if it touches my skin, my skin starts to itch horrible and like feel like whale, whales, is that what it's called? Or like a burning, like I don't know, it's, I'm not, I don't know if I'm allergic to it or if that's how everybody reacts to it, but it just feels so weird and it, like you have to wear long sleeves when fluffing this tree or decorating this tree for it not to have that effect. Now that it's all fluffed out, I'm just going to go through the decorations that I have from the previous year. This year, I decided not to buy any extra decorations. One, because I couldn't find any that I really like. That was the main thing. And then two... I just didn't see the point because I just wasn't in the spirit. Here I'm just checking the lights. Before you put your lights on your tree, always check it first. 
just to make sure it's working and you don't put it on and then it doesn't work I do this with the lights on because I want to see how it's going to light up the tree and if you haven't noticed I do not put any lights any ornament all the way to the back because I know it won't be seen so I don't put anything over there so I just keep just pretty much decorate the front so what I'm doing is every time I get to a new light I test it out just to make sure it's running and then like with it being on is how I can tell it's being placed the right way and how I would like it the skirt that's underneath it is from Target that was the last one that I could find in store I'm not sure if they'll be able to if you'll be able to get it um, online I can try to see if I can find it and link it if I do it'll be linked down below if not if you don't see it linked down below then I couldn't find the link to it from the store so this year I decided to try my hands with these ribbons I keep seeing it on like TikTok, Instagram of other people using these ribbons and I knew it would make my tree look a lot more fuller when you use these so I went ahead and used the old ones I had from last year I'm not really sure what I used it for last year but I know it's from last year I think it came out pretty well with the ribbon I kind of messed up with trying to do like a diagonal stagnant kind of drop but it kind of went slanted but I do like that it's not too perfect because I just like that look for this tree right now and um I don't know I just really do like how it's coming out let me know in the comments down below what you think if you liked it if you think I should keep the ribbon or should I take out those extra pieces you're gonna see me put at the end to kind of like fill in do you think that looks good let me know what you think tonight i'll reach out and touch the sky in the city of angels feels like i'm coming home with my head up in the clouds i am searching for something and i'm still hoping because i want to be in not out want to make this all count uh, yes i As for these other ribbons, these pre-cut ribbons I had from last year, you're going to see I ended up taking them back off. I just didn't like how I looked. I feel like it was just way too much ribbony with that one. And then on top of it, it did not have like a pop of color, which is the, with like what I'm putting on now. These picks are from Amazon. They are linked in my Amazon store. You will not be able to find it one by one. You have to go to my Amazon store and they will be linked there. So I bought these picks from last year. The balls are from last year. The only new ornaments are what my sister made, which I'll show you guys the custom made ones for all of us, the five of us in the family, those and the mittens. That's it. Everything else is from last year. I did buy new balls, but I ended up not using them because I already, I did not realize I have that many, but I had way more than I thought. I'm not going to return it because I know next year I do plan to have more than one tree. I don't think it will be another black tree. This one, oh, I don't even think I mentioned it. My tree is black, if you didn't know that. So next year, I'm do decide that probably have another tree also because we'll be in a bigger house, so it would work better. These are my favorite candy canes. You should see how many of them the kids have eaten off the tree already. So these ones I get because it looks black and white. And because my tree is black, it just gives it that little oomph in it. So that's why I went with these. I 
don't really use anything else on my tree that pretty much fills it up and whatever candy cane is left over I just hide those and replace whatever my kids eat on the tree feeling like a, feeling like a rock star feeling like a rock star feeling like a rock star Okay, so as for the toys, like I said, the ones that I'm putting in this bin are the ones that they will be keeping in the house. The reason why I'm putting it in this bin is because I can now push it under the bed. And whenever they need a toy, they pull it out and pull out whatever they would like to use at that moment. So that's why I went and got this bin instead of the gray one because I did not have the, room, the space to just have it out. So with this, it was just easier because I'll be able to keep some of their toys and push underneath the bed. And they did come in and put a few more toys in that they wanted to keep, which is perfectly fine. Even if it's to keep it in my room or whatnot. But I just wanted to make sure only what they really used were out. So whatever is in the gray basket will be going into storage. And whatever is on the side that I'm not putting in, those will be garbage. They're not decent enough. Most of them are broken or something's wrong with them. Why they're being tossed. If you've made it this far into the video and enjoy my content, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below as I like to interact with you guys as much as possible. And also share, like this video because it also helps my channel to grow. Make sure you turn on your post notification as I am horrible at keeping a schedule. I've got this feeling. I'm feeling you could be the one. See no reason why I should ever let you go. Mm. I don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me. Don't wanna wake up. No, I don't wanna wake up. I don't wanna wake up without you, baby, without.
okay so moving on back to the table all i'm doing is putting this black candle that i found at home goods with um some christmas napkins i was gonna put that love sign there but it just didn't look good it didn't pop or it didn't like stand out so i decided to use one of my old little sparkly christmas tree which looked a whole lot better than that sign so that's what i went with now with decorating up here I simply just put this old tree up there. I had this up here last year, but I had it in fake snow. This year, I'm not doing the fake snow because, like I said, it we're planning to move. So, the less cleanup and less work I put on myself is best for me. So, I'm just gonna so I'm just putting this up here and I'm just gonna leave a little trinkets here and there just to just to like give it a little pop because it has this the eyesore in the back so I just wanted to give it a little pop Me. sometimes I forget to breathe I'm looking in your eyes wish you could see the things I see I don't want to wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me Don't wanna wake up I don't wanna wake up Don't wanna wake up Without you Baby, without As for up here, I am just putting back the garland. Um, the lights, the twinkly lights I had on it died. So I ended up just taking them off and I didn't order any new ones. So I'm just going to put that sign, that wreath back up there. And also put the candle in this little talking toy that they got from um, Target. It's a, it's a Target mic. And you could talk into it and it animates your voice. My kids are driving me crazy already. And this is not even their Christmas gift to be driving me crazy yet. And they're driving me crazy already with just this one thing. This thing right here. Are the custom ornaments I was speaking of my sister made them you can find her Instagram at Moy crafts M O Y crafts on Instagram she custom made all of my ornaments and also the um, family um, Christmas stockings with our name on them so if you're interested in getting something like that, please reach out to her on Instagram and she will definitely have those to you as soon as possible. I don't think we got enough. 
enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. to sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. Oh, no. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the. Oh,